Instagram. Now, if you're like me, eating pizza is something that cannot be avoided. It's one of my all-time favorite foods, but it's not the healthiest choice. Now, many people think that cheese is the nutritional center of pizza, but really, the great protein and fat that cheese has to offer far outweighs the negatives of the refined carb-laden crust. Now, by carb, I mean carbohydrates. One slice of pizza can rack up a whopping 30 grams of carbohydrates. That's like two to three slices of bread or almost a full serving of pasta. And who only eats one slice of pizza? Not me. But what do we as pizza lovers do about this carbohydrate conundrum? How about cauliflower? <gasps> I know! I'm gonna show you my completely gluten-free, guilt-free cauliflower pizza crust. It has a serving of vegetables and only two grams of carbs per slice. Two grams! Let me show you. For my cauliflower crust recipe, start by blending your florets in a food processor. Once blended, steam in a microwave for seven to eight minutes, stirring once about halfway through. Allow to cool. Once steamed, place your cauliflower rice into the center of some cheesecloth or an old dish towel. Make sure to use an old one you don't care about. Create a ball with the rice inside of the cloth and wring out the water until it stops coming out. This is the most important step to getting a solid crust that does not fall apart. Make sure your cauliflower is as dry as possible. Transfer to a bowl and add an egg, parmesan, mozzarella, garlic, and salt and pepper. Mix to combine. Spread your dough out on a pan lined with parchment paper and sprayed. Place in an oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for about 10 minutes until firm and cooked through. Remove from the oven, place on your toppings of choice and return to the oven for another five to seven minutes until the cheese is nice and melted. So why do we want to get rid of the carbs in our pizza crust? What's so bad about them anyways? Well, actually, they're not all bad. We need carbs as part of a healthy, balanced diet as they are an essential macronutrient. However, it all depends on where those carbs come from. Good or unrefined carbs are the kind you get from eating whole grains, fruits, and vegetables and are great for keeping you full longer. And they help you maintain healthy blood sugar levels. Bad carbs, the kind you get from processed and refined grains such as white bread and sugar, are stripped of most all benefits that good carbs provide us with. Instead of helping maintain a healthy blood sugar, these bad carbs make our blood sugar spike. These carbs are also stored in our fat cells as triglycerides, which in turn make us fat. Remember, eating fat doesn't make you fat. Eating too many bad carbs makes you fat. And there you have it, a delicious, nutritious pizza with only a tiny fraction of the carbs you'd find in a normal slice. For this and all my other great recipes, be sure to check out mindovermunch.com. But first, hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode of Mind Over Munch. To avoid getting all hot, I'm gonna have to take a break. Pizza, head to mind over. Usually, when you start that, I think, okay, we're yeah, we're home for tomorrow, home free. Good call, too. Waffle, you didn't try it. Yeah, I ate like three slices already.